Locals called it the Whispering Woods. They told tales of strange noises at night. Eerie whispers carried on the wind. Visions of shadowy figures haunted the woods. Villagers warned outsiders to stay away. The forest held dark secrets. It was a place of fear. Many ventured in, curious. None who stayed past dark ever returned. The forest swallowed them whole. Their disappearances remained a mystery. The legend of the Whispering Woods grew. One day a lone traveller arrived. He scoffed at the villagers' warnings. He didn't believe their superstitious tales. The traveller was determined to spend a night in the forest. He would prove their fears were unfounded. He entered the woods, confident and unafraid. As he ventured deeper, the trees grew denser. Sunlight struggled to penetrate the thick canopy. The air grew heavy, filled with an unnatural stillness. The traveller pressed on, his confidence beginning to waver. Twilight descended, casting long shadows across the forest floor. The temperature dropped, sending a chill down the traveller's spine. The once silent woods came alive with sounds. Twigs snapped, leaves rustled, something was moving nearby. The traveller's heart pounded in his chest. He quickened his pace, eager to find shelter for the night. He stumbled upon a clearing and saw it. A dilapidated cabin, barely visible in the fading light. Relief washed over him. He had found a place to rest. The abandoned cabin. The cabin was old and weathered. The wooden door creaked ominously as the traveller pushed it open. Dust covered every surface inside. Cobwebs hung from the rafters. The air was thick with the smell of decay. The traveller shivered, suddenly uneasy. He explored the cabin, his footsteps echoing in the silence. He found a fireplace, cold and empty. A single wooden chair sat facing the hearth. The traveller decided to build a fire. He needed the warmth and the light to chase away the growing sense of dread. Darkness falls. The traveller managed to start a small fire. The flames flickered, casting dancing shadows on the cabin walls. He settled into the chair, his flashlight resting on the table beside him. Fatigue overcame him and he closed his eyes, trying to ignore the unsettling noises from outside. Suddenly, the flashlight flickered and died, plunging the cabin into darkness. The traveller froze, his heart racing. He fumbled for the flashlight, his breath catching in his throat. Silence descended, heavy and absolute. Then he heard it breathing, slow and deliberate, close to his ear. Face to face. Terror gripped the traveller. He spun around, his eyes wide with fear, searching the darkness for the source of the breathing. He saw it then. In the far corner of the cabin, a tarnished mirror hung on the wall. The dim moonlight filtering through the boarded-up windows faintly illuminated a figure standing behind him. The figure was tall and skeletal, shrouded in shadow. Its eyes glowed with an eerie light. The traveller tried to scream, but no sound escaped his lips. He was paralysed with fear. The figure reached out a long, shadowy hand towards him. Vanished. The next morning, the villagers ventured into the forest. They found the traveller's abandoned backpack near the edge of the woods. They followed his trail, fearing the worst. They arrived at the dilapidated cabin, the door creaking open as if inviting them inside. The fire had long burned out. The air was heavy with an unnatural silence. The traveller was gone. Only the lingering sense of dread and the faint scent of decay remained. The villagers searched, but they never found him. The Whispering Woods had claimed another victim. The legend continued. <laughs>